Good morning. It's Thursday, January 5th. Thanks for joining us with Top Story. Give us a like, go ahead and subscribe below, then give the full show a try. Now, this is Top Story. Papa taking off runway 27, climbing to the southeast. Garrett Fisher has always had a passion for flying. In fact, he got his pilot's license at the age of 17. Now he takes to the sky in this nearly 60-year-old plane to gather stunning photos of what he calls nature's crown jewels. He's on a mission to freeze in time images of glaciers that are melting fast. We know that glaciers were considerably longer uh, in the past during the Little Ice Age. 150 years ago, and since then the glaciers retreated. But Fisher, a self-taught photographer, doesn't want to record them like a scientist. Science has all of the data we need. The problem is it's not beautiful. And Fisher's photos certainly are. Almost all of his work is completely self-funded, so he makes a point of getting the best results at the lowest cost. The restored single-engine Piper Super Cub he operates gets him to give a three-dimensional and more personal perspective on glaciers than satellite images do. But flying that little plane comes with risks. So it is difficult to fly 100-150 horsepower aircraft that high up for two reasons. There's just simply not much air. And secondly, it is a range where the weather's bad, it's extremely cold, and the winds are very strong, and the flying is extremely technically challenging. And to photograph glaciers, we're getting very close to all of this action. So it requires a lot of skill, time, and determination. We can be grateful for that determination. It gives us yet another opportunity to marvel at God's creation. Be sure to take a look at the full site at worldwatch.news forward slash free video. You can watch the show totally free for a week. Thanks for watching, everybody. On the Big Bash. Remember, whatever the news, the purpose of the Lord will stay.